Hi guys, just a couple of quick ways that we can speed up our Mac without spending any money. So the first way we have is we go to our Apple icon up the top left hand corner and we're going to go to System Preferences. What we're going to look at is the startup items. So each time your Mac boots up from the start, a number of programs start with it. So if we go to the Users and Groups section, and over in the Login items we have over here at the top, if we click on it, it's going to show us the different things that open up when we do it. So there's Dropbox. We don't need Dropbox to open. So we click on it and we hit the minus sign down here. So that means Dropbox won't open when our computer loads. The more programs that your computer loads, the slower it's going to be. So we can close out of that window. The next thing we want to do is we want to look at our desktop. Your desktop should be clean. You shouldn't save files on your desktop. When a Mac sees files on a desktop, it thinks that you have them there because you want quick access to them, which is more than likely true. But because it thinks you want quick access to them, it keeps them in a semi-open state. Now, when they are semi-open, they're using up resources. So if you have 10 or 15 documents saved on your desktop, you effectively have 10 or 15 half-open documents using up resources. So by closing out of them, or even storing them in a folder like I have here called desktop, it closes them out and you still have quick access to them. To make a folder like that, we just anywhere on the desktop, secondary click or right click, and it gives us an option for new folder and we can put them in there. So once they're in the folder, they will do it. The other thing we can look at is the amount of space that our Mac has. So the storage. So if we click on the Apple icon and go to about this Mac, it's going to open up this window for us. Now I've gone to the third tab across here at the top is storage. And you can see exactly what's using up our space. Now it just shows us categories like other photos, apps, audio and so on, backups. Things we can do are we can go in and we want to see exactly what's using up space. There may be a video somewhere in the background that you don't know is there. There may be a large file in the background that you don't know is there. We can use a program like Disk Inventory X. So it's a free download. You can download it from the internet if you just search Disk Inventory X and download it. Once we go, we can double click it there on the desktop and we can run the program. Now it's going to take a, a small while for it to run for me. You may need to change your security settings as well to get it to run for you. Once we run it, we select the hard drive that we want to test. So we double click it. That will take a while. So I'm going to speed it up and we'll come back to the video when it's done. Okay, so Disk Inventory X has done its thing. Now, obviously, the size of your hard drive will determine the speed that it will do this search at. But what it does is it breaks a hard drive down into nice squares like this. And you can see in the middle here, they've all different color codes. And each square, so the size of each square represents the amount of storage being used up. So if we click on one of these here, you can see it's Xcode, which is a program by Apple. It's five and a half gigabytes. If I wanted to remove that, I could do so exactly from there. But what you can use it for is you can go through and see each of the different things. So here's one, for example. It's 350 megabyte a video that I don't need now. So what I can do is I can right click or secondary click from here and I can move it to trash directly from there. So you can go through your hard drive and just see exactly what's taking up the size of things. Do practice caution when you're using this. Don't delete anything that you're unsure of. So anything like an iPhoto library or a photos library or an iMovie library, you wouldn't delete it. So there's another one here, you can see we can delete them from there. So you can use that to go through it. So there's some quick tips about how to speed up your Mac in a couple of minutes.